The Painted Life is a series of 50 paintings that tell the story of Mary Ward's life. Some were made during her lifetime, but most were painted after her death as a way for her companions to keep her memory and her vision alive. The paintings show us Mary Ward through the eyes of those who lived, travelled and worked with her, sharing her hopes and struggles. They show us some of the most important events and graces of her life. In this prayer, we will reflect on just a few of these pictures, exploring some of the connections between Mary Ward's journey of faith and our own. The story begins with the word Jesus. As a little child, Mary overheard her mother exclaim, Jesus, bless my child, as she was about to fall. As children do, Mary repeated it, Jesus. This first word would become the story of her life. What about you? Where does Jesus come into the story of your life? Can you remember a time when you really heard the name Jesus, perhaps for the first time, in a way that really meant something to you? The ninth picture shows Mary Ward aged 16, sewing with her cousin Barbara and with a maid, Margaret Garrett, who talked to them about religious life. In the painting, most people are absorbed in their work, but Mary has put down her sewing to listen carefully. As Margaret Garrett talks, God is awakening something in Mary the beginnings of a call. So often we hear God's voice, God's call, through others, through our family, through our friends, or sometimes through the words and actions of those we have never met. the figures of faith in your own life, the people you have found inspiring.
what hope or desire did they awaken in you? Mary Ward settled on religious life at a young age, but the path to what God desired for her was not easy. The Catholic faith was still persecuted in England, and Mary's parents and her spiritual director were convinced that she would serve God best by marrying into another Catholic family. She could keep the faith alive by having children of her own. But Mary held fast, God wanted her, and she wanted God alone. Later on, Mary Ward would talk about verity, the importance of courageously holding on to God's truth and the claims it makes upon you. What has been your experience of holding on to God's truth about you and about your life? Have there been times when you have faced discouragement or opposition in doing what you felt was right? Mary Ward spent three years as a poor Clare nun in Flanders, but there are no paintings for this period of her life. We have a picture of her setting off in a boat, wearing a beautifully embroidered dress, finally travelling towards the life she had wanted for years. The next picture shows her back in London, dressed in black, looking older. These were years of uncertainty. God had shown her that life as a poor Clare was not for her, and so Mary returned to London to work and to seek the will of God all over again. Have there been times for you of setback or uncertainty? Times when it's been hard for you to see the way forward? Where was God in that experience?
Painting number 21 shows us a turning point in that time of uncertainty. While engaged in something very ordinary, brushing her hair, Mary suddenly understood that her life would glorify God in a way she could not yet imagine and did not yet understand. Can you remember a moment when you have sensed God's purpose and faithfulness in your own life? Have you ever had a sense that God is glorified in you and through you? There are a lot of boats in the painted life. The ones that carried Mary Ward and her companions to and fro across the English Channel. And this imaginary boat, which shows us Mary meditating on the call of the disciples. God's call to establish a new kind of religious community for women was a step into the unknown for Mary, and it would bring her a lot of opposition and suffering. She had to trust that Christ, who called her to step out into that deep water, would hold her up and keep her from drowning. When have you had to step out of the boat like this? How did it feel? Was Christ there for you? Finally, this painting from the series shows Mary at prayer, with Christ standing beside her, and Christ, very small, hidden and burning in her heart. She wrote about this experience. I said, My God, what art thou? I saw him immediately and very clearly go into my heart, 
and little by little hide himself in it. And there I perceive him still to be in the same manner, my meditation being ended almost an hour since. He held my heart. At the end of this reflection, turn to Jesus. Speak to him as a friend, as one who holds your heart. Is there something you want to tell him or ask him? Ask Jesus, little by little, to hide himself in you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.